Hey guys, it's Pip, and welcome back to my Tileman series. In the last episode, we completed Tree Gnome Village to unlock the spirit trees, but before using them, I need a teleport. Leveling my magic up was pretty tricky, but after about 20-something hours, I finally got level 21 magic, which means I can use the low-level alchemy spell now, which is a very easy way to train my magic to unlock a bunch of teleports. Alright, it's finally time to use these nature runes. Last episode, we got 21 magic. It took so long. But now that we're finally here, we can cash in on so much magic XP. While I alk, I'm going to be looting these chests for even more nature runes. I'm looking to get 43 magic because then I can use the nature runes to superheat, which means I won't have to unlock tiles to get to a furnace and I can start training my uh, smithing, which would be great. So that's the first thing I'm going to be doing in this episode. And there's 22 magic, the first level of many. Let's get alkin. There is 25 magic and look, what is no longer grayed out teleport to Verok. i don't want to go there anytime soon really i have no no plans to go to Verok, but i i have a teleport unlocked it's something always really cool to see 31 mage i think that's the lumbridge teleport uh, i could just home port though so it's not really a big a big level these levels are actually so fast oh wait we have falador teleport unlocked now 37 mage we have, how many rooms do we have left? 254. We'll probably get to like 40. There is all of our nature runes used. We are almost 40 magic. I think I'm just going to hop around a bunch more for more nature runes and then use them all at once. All right, it is like five hours later and I think this should be the last nature rune. 840. I don't think I'm going to superheat. I'm just going to low out the whole way. And it says 840 nature runes on the rune like, like calculator thing. So hopefully this is right. All right, I should be able to teleport back with the runes that I have. Uh, so I can finally use the spirit tree. Do I want to go anywhere besides the gnome stronghold? Uh, not really, to be honest. All right, here we go. I think this will be by far the farthest I've traveled. And we're in the gnome stronghold. All right, the only thing I really want to do here for now is agility. So I think I'm going to make my way towards the course. I, I'm going to alk while I do it to be efficient, you know. Uh, I think this is probably the best way to get there. I don't think I'm going to unlock many agility courses because they all take a ton of tiles. So I think I might be here for a little bit. I think I've already used like 20 tiles. Does this? Oh my gosh. Going over the log takes tiles. What the heck? Four tiles? Man, I got scammed. What the heck? I shouldn't count. I wonder if going across like the rope up here is going to count. Let's see. That's weird. It, it doesn't count the first one. But it counts. It's weird. All right. Uh, through the pipe, I'm assuming, yeah, it's going to count inside the pipe, too. I think I came here with, like, 160-ish. So it's going to be about 60 tiles. I can just click to the start. Two agility, the first level of many that I'm going to get here. I don't know how long I'm going to do this, because I normally don't like agility. 40 magic. We can teleport to my house. Maybe I'll train construction at some point. Who knows? I got another genie. I got one while I was doing... Um, Nature runes, but I forgot to mention it. I now have two lamps. Do I want to spend them on farming? I mean, I don't need inventory right now. So I guess I'll just decide in the future. I'm only I'm 11 agility, by the way. I don't know what level I'm going to train to. I'm just going to kind of go with flow. All right. There it is. Camelot teleport has been unlocked. I think I'm going to just stay here and do some agility until... I don't, I'm actually not hating it for somehow. I don't know how I'm not hating agility. I normally hate agility, but like I'm kind of kind of vibing right now. Let's see how long that lasts cuz I'm almost at 100 laps now. I don't know how long I'll do agility for, but you know, whenever you're feeling agility, you should do it cuz it's, it's a pretty rare feeling. There is 30 agility. I think I can use the Verak course now, but again, I don't want to unlock more tiles than I have to while training agility. Like this one's fine. It's not that great XP, but you know, agility never is. So I th don't think I'm going to unlock the Varrock course. Wait, that's 40 agility. Oh my gosh. I can use the Canifus one. I've been doing agility for like seven hours. Don't tell anyone that. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing so much agility. I feel like anything I do on this account just feels so much better. It's crazy. Is 40 good enough? Should I keep going? I've done a 400 laps. You know what? No, it's time. I think I'm going to leave here. 
I want to go try to do this clue scroll really quick. There's like no way I can even complete it, but I mean, it's literally I can just home port and Hans is right there. So why not try? All right, come here, Hans. He's gonna come around this corner. Where is he not like on a path? Okay, I what is it? A couple tiles, three tiles. Can I do this? I'm gonna prepare to drop it. Good to know. 71 agility? <laughs> what if I just went and did agility till 71? There's no way. Watchtower quest? I have to do... S nah. I don't think I'm ever going to do watchtower quest. <sighs> I have no more hope now. I, I kept looking at that clue scroll and I was like, you know, what if? What if I could do it? Oh well. Back to Camelot. Back to our homeland. Oh, we didn't even lose a, lose a tile. And actually, I think we lost one. Eh. Oh well. Alright, I'm back here at the Willow Trees. I'm going to clear some inventory space. I've gotten two genies. I don't remember if I've clipped them or shown them. I'm just going to put them on farming. I don't think I need water runes or air runes. I'm going to drop this earth staff because it was really just for using curse. And I can go get this mage gear back pretty, like, relatively easily. I can buy this oak longbow. I can get back the battered key really easily. And I have an iron axe that I want to make use of before I drop it. So I, oh my gosh, I need a knife. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I got a knife. Uh, I think I want to keep everything else in my inventory. Eventually I can plant this oak sapling. Wait, I can totally plant it in the gnome place. I'll do, I'll do that later. Uh, I want to train my fletching. I'm going to make a ton of arrow shafts and I'm going to make a ton of arrows. I think I'm probably just going to make more iron arrows to add to the collection, but I want to get 50 fletching so that I can make a maple short bow. I can actually just go get flax from uh, the Camelot place, and it would be a nice, easy way to get a, an upgraded bow. And I can only buy oak. You can't even buy willow at the shop in uh, Catherby. You can buy will. I think you can buy willow in v Varrock, but not in Catherby. I don't know why. So I'm gonna AFK these willows and fletch them for I don't know how long. There's 50 wood cutting mahogany trees. Don't think I'll ever cut those. Oh, and 700 total in the same level. Wow, dude, we're gonna have 100 total Earth 100. A thousand total by like the end of the month, I bet. I am absolutely flying on this account. All right, I have a bird's nest. Can we get a cooler ring than our gold ring? This game sucks, man. I just want like a, imagine if I get a diamond ring. Best in slots, bro. I can't even get a sapphire one. All right, I'm almost 40 fletching. There's 30,000 air shafts. I'm gonna go buy a ton of feathers. I overbought a little. 30,000 headless arrows to make. Uh, I'm gonna make them while I buy iron arrow tips, I think. All right, 30,000 arrow tips bought. I uh, unlocked a few more tiles in the store so I could reach more tiles when I was hopping around because it took so long with only three tiles. So I didn't want it to take five hours. So I uh, it only took like an hour to buy all these. Maybe more probably, honestly. But uh, let's fletch these. Um, I think I'm gonna get I think I'm going to fletch them while I train my crafting. Let me show you how AIDS this is going to be. I can buy soda ash and buckets of sand from this charter ship, but I need a furnace to make them into molten glass. And the closest furnace, I think I have a kind of close one all the way up here. And I think I'm just going to go unlock it. I'm going to have to run from Port Cazard all the way up to that furnace and make a full inventory of molten glass and then come back here and buy more. So I think I'm going to do that while I fletch. I need an inventory space, so goodbye iron axe. I got 52 wood cutting, basically 53. So I'm going to fletch while I walk, I think. Let's just run to the furnace. I'm going to need to run to like West Arty, I think, anyway. So I don't think these tiles will be uh, not useful. I think I missed one there. But we can start making inventories of molten glass. And this is how we're going to train crafting. Boom. The first of 10 levels. We only need to get level 10 because at level 10, I can start spinning flax. I don't think I'll train. My, I might train my crafting a little bit, but I don't think I'll train too much. I really just want 10 so I can uh, spin flax to bowstrings so I can make uh, bows. Now it's time to run all the way back. When I come back, I can buy a glass blowing pipe from here and just start making things. I think I'm not. I'm just going to fletch all these before I go back because walking around and fletching on a tile man is so hard because you constantly have to read it or like change your path. I can't just like click forward and fletch a bunch. So I think I'm just gonna actually finish all of my fletching stuff right now. Here we go. That is 50 fletching. We can now make 
a maple short bow. I may have overshot 50 fletching by a little bit. I still have 16,000 arrows to make. Uh, more range training, right? I wonder what level I'm going to get to. All right. There are all of the arrows finished. We have 35,000 arrows almost. We are at 53 fletching. Uh, it's time. Wait, where am I going? Uh, it's time to train some crafting. This is post edit pip. I turned off my recorder for something and then I forgot to turn it back on. So I missed these clips, but I basically just got 10 crafting and uh, doing the method I was doing earlier. And then I spun some flax. I unlocked the flax field and I made bowstrings and then I made my maple short bow. That's all I missed. Oh my gosh. I turned off my recorder and I didn't realize. I didn't do too much before I realized. I basically, oh, I did, I got 10 crafting and then I unlocked flax and then I unlocked a spinning wheel. I can't believe that's the first time I've ever, I'm so stupid, man. I forgot to record. Look at this though. I made my maple short bow with my knife and I used, I got a bowstring from the flax. This thing is insane. I go from 14 to 29 range. That's literally like twice as good. That's awesome. And it's really easy to get back too. So it's not like I, I have to go kill something and get it as a drop. I can literally just make this anytime I want. It's actually so good. I have... I dropped the wrong one. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Uh, I have 35,000 arrows. I can go train a lot of range. You did not see that. I think it's time to plant this oak sapling though. Because I want to go back to Gnome Stronghold. Yes. There we go. That's what I needed from these. <laughs> as, weird it is, as weird as it is. Uh, I've been killing imps for a little bit. Uh, not like too long. They're easy to kill. I need an egg because I'm gonna go do cook's assistant and It's way easier to get an egg from an imp or not way easier. I guess it's a lot harder But I don't want to waste the tiles. So I'm just gonna get an egg from the imp. All right It's time to go back to the gnome stronghold and I think I was talking about just not wasting tiles But I think I'm gonna go over like towards this area eventually. So I don't think there's like too much of a waste Let's go plant the tree I've been host holding in my inventory for the longest time. I think I have to talk to Prissy Scylla to get a rake. You sell me something. I'm gonna have to rake it, but one more tile. We're like five tiles from Neve for. All right, do I, I have what I need? Or I just need a spade? Yes, we planted a tree. Let's go, dude. I've been carrying this tree for so long if it dies <laughs> I'm, going, I'm gonna be depressed <laughs> this tree is my baby now all right it's time to do the second thing that i came here to do i don't understand how it marks that on the way back it's, it's this plugin is so weird man look it's gonna mark that one too the pathing on this like if, if i path by just clicking far it does that so i don't think i should do that anymore all right let's i know i said i was not going to do it but I don't, I th i'm just gonna do this I'm going to click towards the tree, and hopefully it paths well. It looks like it's doing a good job. I need to get into this grand tree to get into the food shop. Oh, I don't want to cheat, even though I know it's not my fault. It's the plug-in. All right. I could start grand tree right now. Should I? I'll save it for later. Let's go up. And I think we need to go to this food shop, and we're going to buy a couple of things. Gosh, we had 200 tiles. The tiles go so fast, man. I've been like just been getting random tiles from random things, but they're all just going so fast. Let's go trade Hudo. All right, we need milk. I have to hop for flour, I guess. Who the hell is buying all the flour on an ultimate Iron Man? Okay, flour. Do I want anything else? I'll have to come back here for the fruit blast. I have all the stuff I need for Cook's assistant. I'm gonna make the fruit blast right now for a recipe for disaster and i think i need dwell berries at some point and i need chocolate milk too i don't know i'm just buying everything honestly i probably need spice in the future oh tomatoes i could totally have brought a thing to protect my tree but I, I i think that tree is gonna live i'm taking the gamble i think i'm just gonna make a fruit blast right now to be honest all right let's run over here talk to blurberry Blurberry. Okay, then I'll give it a go. All right. I need to just buy a, a thing. And I need to mix a fruit blast. Sweet. Pour a slice of lemon. Oh, I gotta go buy one. All right, well, I'm gonna buy a slice of lemon, then I'm gonna home port and do cook's assistant. Okay, I can pour the fruit blast. 
There's item number one I need for recipe for disaster. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to start with doing in the next episode. It might take a while to do it. Even though it's a very, very easy quest for on a tile man, it's very hard. Even Cook's assistant had to go kill an egg for the imp. Oh, there goes another tile. Let's run in and talk to the cook. Dude, we only have 60 more tiles, dude. That's so crazy. 40 more? I'm going to have to go down that ladder anyway, so these are all useful tiles. Boom. Cook's assistant. Completed. Let's start recipe for disaster. We need so much stuff. That's going to be crazy. All right, we're starting recipe for disaster. And then I'm going to do something that I haven't done on this account yet. I 43 tiles? Actually, no, I'm not going to yet. I need to go thieve some more tiles, probably. I haven't done that in a while. Let's go back to Camelot. One Alarun used. And look, at we wasted another three tiles. We have 40 tiles left. I'm going to go thieve some tiles. Maybe edit this video while I do it. Oh my gosh, a quiz master. <gasps> yes, I love these. These are like gambling. Because you get that mystery box and you can get something like crazy from it. But like 80 million percent of the time, you just, you know, get nothing. But there's that one tiny percent. And it's always exciting. All right, we're choosing the mystery box. Could it be something absolutely crazy? Oh, medium clue scroll. That I will never do. Well, better than a boot, I guess. All right, there is 60 cooking. I've just been fishing a ton of lobsters and cooking them while I edit this video that you're watching right now. Wow. I have 192 tiles, and I don't even think that'll be enough. I think I'm probably gonna get to like 250 before I start Recipe for Disaster. I think I've decided what my goal on the account is gonna be. I know Settled is gonna do the Inferno, but I don't really wanna do any PVM. I think that's not really in the spirit of the account, in my opinion, or at least how I want to play. I want to unlock everywhere that's possible in RuneScape. I want to spread my tiles across the land. And I think the best way to do that is to do quests. So I think the short-term goal, the first major quest I want to do is Recipe for Disaster. I want to get Barrow's Gloves, which we will start in the next episode. And I hope to see you there.